Jesus Christ made the most profound statements about worry that the world has ever heard in Matthew the sixth chapter. Therefore I say unto you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will put on. Isn't life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Hello everybody, this is Charles Grove with Foraging Truth. I wanted to bring you out to the yard today. This is actually um, a spot in my yard that my wife and I do uh, gardening. Just for flowers and decorative purposes, we have a lot of uh, different types of flowers in behind us here. And we are pulling weeds, and I did not allow her to pull this weed out. Because this weed is special. And I think a lot of you have probably seen this weed in your yard. You can tell the weed by this seed pod, this uh, flower pod that grows at the end. Uh, you notice that it has a thick stem, it's ridged, and it's very tall. Um, children play with this. They make little pop guns out of the, the stem and fire the, the uh, seed top, you know, at each other. And I remember doing that as a child myself. So, this is one of two types of this plant that grows in the Appalachian Mountains and pretty much all over the United States and in Europe. So this is the other type. Now this one's kind of welded. I pulled it out and I had to get everything prepared and do some things around the house. And This plant uh, I knew was going to die, but we have so many of them in our yard that I didn't think it was too much of a loss. Plus this one's kind of been eaten up by the bugs. Now you'll notice that on the leaf of this plant, all of the lines or veins in the leaf run with the outside of the leaf. The leaf is a big spoon shape. The veins run to the tip of the leaf and they kind of outline the outer edge of the leaf. Um, it goes down into the plant where you can see that it's definitely purplish. I don't know if you can see that purple red color. Okay. Um, settlers that came to this country you started using this um, the Indians used it they also named it after basically the, the white man coming into America and anywhere he that he stepped it was known to grow so that's interesting I thought um, and the name of this plant is plantain now what's so special about plantain well plantain can be found in your yard and you can see all these different seed tops coming up. They all have the ridged uh, stem. I'll go ahead and pull this one. You can see those ridges of this plantain uh, seed stem and how long that stem is. And it still gets kind of a purplish red at the bottom. Um, now what can this plant be used for? Well, it can be used, the leaves can be used as a salad. Um, they can be used for healing purposes. Um, one of the things that this plant can heal is irritable, uh, irritable bowel syndrome. One of these things this plant does for somebody is if you have irritable bowel syndrome, it can help you um, relieve some of the cramping and um, the uh, effects of that so you can go about your day with that. Uh, horrible disease, which I know personally about. Okay, you have the common plantain, and you have what they refer to as the ribwort plantain. It has a thinner leaf than the common plantain. Here's how thick that other leaf is, and of course you have this thinner leaf that can lay inside of it. And if you notice that the veins run exactly the same as the common, it outlines the shape of the leaf. This one goes right to the tip. And you'll see that these heavy ridge lines grow on the other side. Now it is slightly furry on the underside. And if you pull these ridge lines away, you'll notice it has a material inside that rib line that's kind of like a thread. Um, it has a really clean smell. You can, um, you can use this for any greens, like a salad. You can use... Uh, all the parts of this plant for medicine and 
here's another beneficial thing when you get a leaf. So if your children are out playing in the yard or you're doing gardening and all of a sudden you get stung by a bee, what you can do is you can wrinkle this up and draw the chlorophyll and other stuff out of this leaf and then you take it and you rub it on that bee sting. It almost completely relieves the sting almost instantly. And I think that is awesome. You don't have to buy those uh, chemical sprays to spray on yourself and your children if you have plantain in your yard. So, um, different ailments that this helps with. First, uh, coughs, bronchitis, sore throats, and the irritable digestive tract. And like I said, this is also something you can eat. Um, they also talk about making salve from this. What you would do is you would gather these leaves and stems up and these uh, seed pods and you would put them in a food processor and you would turn it into a paste. And after you have that turned into a paste, you can either put it in olive oil to make a salve or uh, you can do the olive oil and then in beeswax and then you can make your own uh, you know, skin treatment. Helps with burns, sores, uh, like I said, bug bites. Um, the Indian said it could actually draw out the salve using part of the root, the same way I told you about the leaves and the stems, as a uh, medicine to draw out a snake bite, which I would probably ref want to refer you to going to get some anti-venom, if that's what you got, um, knowing that I, I do uh, catch rattlesnakes and copperheads. A lot of us will spray our yards to get rid of this plant. That's amazing, you know, once you start learning about this stuff that you want to get rid of all of a sudden. You have to positively identify plantain. Plantain, a healing plant that grows directly in your own yard that you probably try to get rid of. But hopefully now that you know about plantain, that uh, you will harness the benefits that God gave us and put them everywhere in abundance. So I encourage you to try this plant, to do your own research, look it up. Maybe you get a, a, an herbalist book and start learning that all the different plants that grow in your yard that you can use and you can only benefit from that knowledge. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. Charles Grove, Foraging Truth, The Mighty Plantain. Have a good day.